Hi guys, this is Gizmo here and today I'm going to make a small video to explain how to fix the many problems that my Ancient Cars mods, whether it be the uh, lastest mod from uh, 1760 to 1890 uh, or the other mods like the small, the Evil Speedster and the Lesser Evil. All of these cars have uh, roughly these same problem that come with the calculation of automation uh, when you export to Beam and G Drive. Uh, this problem being that uh, the chassis dimension of, and the wheel diameter is affecting the, the values that the exporter creates and causes this kind of problem right here. Either that or the suspension completely collapse directly when you are loading the game, when you are loading the car in the game. So uh, first off there's the simple way of fixing this that everyone can do very easily. Uh, this is going back to automation and editing the car. Uh, this is the only type of way that I've found that could sa solve the problem of the suspension collapsing upon loading uh, because I don't know how to edit the BeamNG files yet in order to fix that particular problem. Basically car loads and you hear a big crash and nothing works except maybe accelerating forward and going backward but that doesn't really work well because suspension has collapsed and you have no steering. If that happens uh, the best way is to use more wheel offset uh, by bringing the wheel further away from the chassis you're uh, basically making a quick fix that basically gives more play to the error of the chassis calculation so that it doesn't break in the game. Uh, the other way would be to use smaller wheels because one of the problems uh, because that, that seems to help sometimes but that also completely ruins the aesthetic of the car if you want to keep the style with big, big cart wheels that are in themselves not expected with automation in the first place uh, well you're going to have to go for offset instead uh, but usually the biggest thing that wheel diameter cause uh, biggest problems will be the steering so uh, for suspension that should be fine uh, I'm sure there are ways to go in the BeamNG files and edit values to uh, fix the suspension collapsing problem but I just don't know that yet uh, then we have the steering problems uh, basically this is happening because uh, the wheel is turning too much so what happened is uh, the game is expecting certain dimension for the chassis and it's calculating a ratio between the width and the length of the car and use this to calculate how far the steering arm is supposed to move in order to make the wheel turn problem is having very slim chassis that I'm making slim basically because I need to hide it in an unusual shape or the, the like the evil speedster the car is normal width but the chassis is very very long so the ratio ends up being the same uh, this problematic uh, ratio between the width and length of the chassis make the wheel turn too much and uh, the wheel will then push against the chassis and tore itself off so that's what's happening uh, so the first problem the one of going back and the first way of fixing it by going back and forth between beam and G and automation is to add more of wheel offset because by bringing the wheel further away when you turn it has more chances of not going as far as the chassis and therefore if it's not pushing against the chassis it might not break that can help but it's not always possible uh, and also making the wheel smaller so that the end of the wheel goes less close to the chassis as you turn these can help fixing the problem but unfortunately it completely ruins the style of the car so if you want to have a car that is able to turn without braking like this one you're going to have to edit the beam and G files because as you can see with the motor carriage test here. I've got this one here with huge cartwheels which are typical of that time period except this one here in order to work I have much smaller wheels and that kind of ruined the style. Also as you can see this one 
uh, turns a lot. It's <laughs> almost going 90 degrees uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, basically because the calculations were tricked into going just not too far enough to break by using the, 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 the technique of changing the car in the game in, in automation rather than editing uh, the game files in BeamNG. So now we're going to get out of BeamNG for a moment and go into uh, my document BeamNG Drive Mods where all the exported cars are going to. Now I have here my Transylvanian Test Clone the one that has the ugly pink color. I'm going to copy it on the desktop because that's an easy place to go for working on things. And I'm going to extract it here. Then I'm going to copy the name. And I'm going to go in this folder here. I'm going to make a new zip file and give it the name that I've just copied. That's because I'm going to use that to put it back in the game later. Now we've got those two files. I'm going to go in vehicle, car's name, and go all the way to the bottom and look for suspension F for suspension front. Now I'm going to open this with Notepad++. That's in uh, free. That's a free program that you can get online, so that's easy to obtain. Oops. Okay. Now that you're inside, you're going to go at the bottom, all the way near the end, and you're going to look for this paragraph here called Hydros. Here you're going to look towards the uh, these two lines here. You've got factor on both here, and I've got a value where it's minus 2 and 2. This value is very different between each car. Certain cars will have a very high value, certain, car, certain car will have a very small value. This one has minus 2 and it's too much for it. Uh, you can easily cut that by half. You're not making the car turn not enough. You're, it's not going to turn too little if you make it very small because the car is already turning too much. Making this smaller will just make it turn less enough that it's not going to break. So you, you can go very small. You can easily make it half, but I'm going to go as far as turning it into 0 0.5. I'm going to, to make it even lower than half by a lot. Uh, and then you try, I'm going to save. Oh, wait, quick note, by the way, uh, sometimes my cars are certain cars with an expected shape for automation uh, have the steering input inverted in BeamNG. If that happens, that's because these two factors have their negative and positive values switched. As you can see, it's the same value for both factors. So what you do is you're going to get, grab the minus and move it to the other one so that this one become positive, this one become negative, and this inverts the input of the control in the game so that it matches with every other car in the game. When you're done editing those two values, you click the little save button at the top. This becomes blue, uh, so that's good. I'm going to close this, and we're going to move back to here. Now we're going to grab those two things which were inside the original zip file. We're going to put them in the new zip file. Now the new zip file is filled with all the same files except the ones that we modified are now changed. I'm going to copy this and I'm not going to paste it here because my game is running right now. But uh, if you uh, had closed the games in order to close the game in order to make the modification, you'd just paste it here to replace the car with the new modified version that should work, and then you're ready to go into BeamNG again and make your test. And then you're ready to go. At a blistering breakneck speed. Standing on my feet, it's so hard